Welcome back to Wasteland 2. It is time to return Fletcher to his proper place, which is going to cause a lot of issues and everything is probably going to go crazy and we're probably going to end up having to kill everybody. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Fletcher, so polite of you to come back. It would be rude to assume you came back under duress. The sheriff will be delighted to see you. Please go see her. Rangers, you can head inside too. Your friend will be released and all confiscated items will, items will be returned. As promised. Why, thank you. Hey, Lexcanium. You useless sod. How you doing? Copy, Ranger Team Echo. Congratulations, Echo. Three points, not enough for anything. Okay. So, who should I go talk to? Well, I want to talk to Mr. Manners. But I believe the last time I went into the building where he was present, somebody yelled at me to get out and said I had ten seconds or they'll start shooting. But let's go try again. Wait a minute. No, it's down here, isn't it? Is it down here? Yeah, it's right here, right? Isn't he in the press booth? I don't know why he'd be in the press booth, but I think he's down here. Um. Oh yeah, uh, denture cream. Almost forgot about the denture cream. Hey, old man. Paladino, Paladino, where you at? Where you at? There you are. You get that denture paste yet, kid? I need to eat some real food. Mm-hmm. Kid, you're the best. I'm gonna be eating solid food tonight. Here, take this. Kevlar suit, thank you. See you around, youngsters. Kevlar suit. Negative to combat speed, so... No thanks. Copy, Ranger Team Echo. Congratulations. Kenium leveled up, whoop de doo I guess mechanical repair, sure. It's the only damn thing he's good at. Oh, there's Mr. Manners. Okay, so, hold on. I think I should put on a thing. Let's put on my hourglass, just in case. So that'll give me, what, nine? Yeah, nine kiss ass instead of eight. Okay. Let's join the fray. Gentlemen, are you ready? Machines are in working order? Excellent, thank you. Then we will commence. Gentle friends, it is our sad but sacred duty this day to once again make an example of one of our own. Fletcher was a good man, a well-loved man, but sadly, also a man who did not live up to the standards of hygiene and department and deportment. I don't know what that means. Um, that make the Angel Oracle the most beautiful, most pleasant community in the Los Angeles area. For this reason, blah, 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 he must die. Okay, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Sc excuse me. I'm so sorry, gentle interrupter. What is so important that you had to barge into the middle of our service? <laughs> Look at his art. Look at his art. <laughs> Smoking a pipe and having tea and reading a book all at the same time. The very fact that I've interrupted already puts me kind of in the, the rude camp, which is not good. Tori Robinson is plotting to take over. That's true. Do I want to tell him? Uh... I don't... I don't know. Again, I don't want either the Mannerites or the Robinsons to have the run of this place. Do I have a preference? Not really. They're both pretty shit. I'll just play the idiot. What kind of service is this? An execution. And we must attend to it. The prisoner is not going to keep forever. He's not going to keep? What is he, mayonnaise left out in the sun? I mean, uh, what do you plan to do with Fletcher? Mr. Fletcher is accused of slovenliness, ill manners, and failure to comply with repeated requests for reform. 
We gave him another chance, and he did not take it. Okay, I see two speech skill checks. At least one of these I must be able to pass, right? Come on. Smartass level 10? Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god. Fuck, why are my skills never high enough? At first it was like, I need 8 for everything. So then I got 8. And then I put on a trinket that gave me 9. I'm like, this should be more than enough. And then I need 10. <clears throat> Once again, despite focusing on speech. To the detriment of my combat skills. Just think about it. Just think about if I spent all the points that I put into speech. Into other stuff. I could be way more effective at all sorts of combat related stuff. And instead, I put it into speech, and it still seems, like, fucking useless. Because every time, like, ha well, maybe not every time, but, like, half the time, I don't have the damn skill to pass it. Dicks. Donkey dicks. All right, Tori Robinson is planning to take over. Please excuse me, Rangers, I have a speech to make. Gentle spectators, I've received word from these gracious rangers that Citizen Fletcher was framed for the crimes he was about to be executed for, an attempt to get me to execute him unjustly so that his death could be used against me. Well, the person who framed him is none other than Tory Robinson, who wanted to bring me down and take my place. That is the height of rudeness, and I therefore decree that Tory should take Fletcher's place in the manacles. Free Fletcher! And down with Tory. Yeah. Fuck this noise, let's get out of here. G good luck. Wait, you just gonna let her go? They're just gonna let them go? Listen, Rangers. I can't allow Tori to continue to plot against me. Perhaps you could meet me in my quarters. Sure. Ah. Attention, gentle citizens. The main gate shall remain closed until Tori Robinson and her unsavory followers are detained. All citizens are to stay out of the way of our civility enforcers. Those who interfere will be punished accordingly. Good day. I can't talk to either of them? I just saved your damn life, dude. All right. You're welcome. Copy me. Congratulations. Eight points. Nice. Uh, I think she needs some more shotgun skill. All right. These are your quarters, right? Hello, fat fingers. A short, heavy-set man paces near Mr. Manor's door, muttering to himself. Oh, there he is. So, I heard you have cats. I see kitty pictures, but I don't see the cats. I really want to use my catnip. I'm pretty sure you can't actually even use it, by the way. I don't think use is a button. That it has. Where, where is my catnip? Where's my catnip? There it is. Yeah, use isn't even a button, so I don't think it matters. Maybe I could, like, put it on the ground. It probably isn't going to do anything, but I'd like to try. I need to talk to Mr. Manners. Okay. 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 I guess we're just going. Think he would object if I just took his cat litter? He probably would. I must commend your behavior, gentle rangers. Executions are a rough business, and you dealt with it well. You have earned the radio, gentle quester. Men, unlock the door. Why do you address everyone with gentle? What, is, is this like Bioshock? 
Our gracious progenitor responded every question with an appellation for her interlocutors. Gentle. Thus we emulate her. What? Appellation. I don't know what that means. Interlocutors. I don't know what that means either. Progenitor. Um, I know what that means. Progeny. Progenitor. Appellation. Interlocutor. Huh. Thanks for letting us access the radio. I hope you'll be able to make good use of our radio. Don't worry, I'll broadcast only the best death metal to all the wastes. Yeah! What do you know about that, Fingers? My guest here? I've quite forgotten his real name, and I feel it would be rude to ask him again. It's embarrassing, really. Hmm. Do you want me to find out? What do you mean by rude? Well, not so much rude, but more effort than I'm willing to expand on one so... Uncivil. Alright. We're looking for cat litter. Got any? I'm afraid I need to hold on to my limited supplies. You see, I'm quite fond of my cats, and they do appreciate a fresh litter. Almost as much as I appreciate a slice of fresh toast. Hmm, I heard about your toast problem. Right, heating element. Hmm. Hmm. What's the big deal about toast? It's impossible to be a good host without toast, and because of this, I have been haunted by failure. What's the big deal about toast? It's... You, uh, okay. What's wrong with your toaster? The cook says the heating element is partially worn out, so it can't make toast without burning half the bread. I've already asked the salvage teams to keep an eye out for heating elements, but so far, no luck. Okay. I have no idea where I'm going to find a heating element, but, uh... You know what? I'm probably going to find a heating element inside of a toaster. Which I ain't going to find, or repair, rather, because I have one skill in toaster repair. Okay, we earned access to the radio. He already gave us access. Why would I say that? Yes, indeed, please. Okay, yep. What do you know about Glenn? Our radio technician, of course. You'll find him over in the transmitter room. Goodbye. I get the feeling that they didn't actually make any cat models. So I'm just going to try dumping the catnip. And let's see if anything special happens. No, I didn't think so. Oh well. Sup, Glenn? Oh, the rangers well. Keep it snappy. I've got a lot of work to do. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. This radio's outer casing has been outfitted with a customized lock and computer interface. This is pre-apocalypse state-of-the-art radio technology. Lovingly maintained, carefully dusted, and gleaming. This setup looks like it can put out a seriously strong signal. The transmitter on this thing is labeled Spread Spectrum XMTR-98-6000. Echo 1, this is Santa Fe Base. We'll go ahead. We attached a repeater to the transmitter in Angel Oracle. Over. Copy, Echo One. Seeing a large boost in our range. They must have a strong transmitter. We should be able to double our range by piggybacking off their signal. I'll send out a fresh broadcast right away. There might be people out there who haven't heard our message yet. Santa Fe base out. So I guess I don't need to actually do anything with this, but can I like hack it or something? I can do something with this. After careful thought, you realize now is not the best time to mess with the radio unit. Uh, I guess that's only if you didn't get permission or something, maybe? I don't know. I think we're done here. Like, in this whole town. I mean, I've got a couple other small quests, but I don't 
have anything to do with them at the moment. Like, find a toaster heating element. Cool, I have no idea where I'd find one, though. So I'm just gonna have to hope. Um, oh, you know, this is still here. Help Jonathan Gitlin prove his innocence. Haven't I already given... Hmm. We should find out who they belong to. I've already given all those things to everyone who they belong to, right? And there's the goat problem, but I don't have any milking gloves. I don't know where to find them. Again, I don't have any shampoo. Didn't I give everybody all the stuff? I gave them medical bag. I feel like I should have everything I need to solve that quest. So I'm not sure what I'm missing. Well, I think I have a little bit of junk to sell. Let's do that. Barely anything, really. I think there's only one thing here I want to sell. Just the mustache wax. I thought I had more. Hmm. Alright, 15 bucks, thank you. Oh, wait a minute. I also want to sell the armor that I just got. I definitely gave the watch to Paladino. I definitely gave the medical bag to the doctor. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to get the hell out of here. Uh. Attention, gentle citizens. Our guards report that Tori and some of her accomplices have slipped past our perimeter and are now at large. Citizens will be allowed out the main gate, but the angel will remain on high alert until further notice. Desert Rangers... Your presence is politely requested in the press booth. Good day. Well, you could have told me that when I was actually over there. It ain't very polite to make me walk so far. Gentle manners. Dick. <sighs> well, in the meantime, let's take a look at what quests I got. So, I still need to deliver the microscope to Rhodia, and I also need to go visit the town. Uh, the, the brothel. Yeah, the Culver City brothel. I guess they want me to hunt down Tori? Rangers, pardon my... Hastiness, but the reason I've summoned you is because I have an urgent matter I'd like to discuss. You see, Tori Robinson poses a unique danger to the Angel, and I simply cannot allow her to remain at large. Sooner or later, she'll come back and start barking up our tree. So what we need is for you to help out the Angel once more, by finding Tori and politely extinguishing her life. Of course, if you agree, you will be handsomely compensated. Do we have an agreement? Sure. Your aid is deeply appreciated, Rangers. There's an old hideout a few miles away where I, um, occasionally stay for some private business. I've received a tip from our sheriff that Tori may be heading there. That should be your first destination. Here, I'll mark the location on your map. Please be sure to bring some proof of your deed. There's no need to bring her body. I believe her head should suffice. Well, I do want to go talk to her, but I don't know if I want to kill her. We'll see. Uh, that is absolutely a low priority thing, though, so let's forget about that for now and let's go help, uh, help out at the Culver City Brothel.
hopefully the fact that I've kind of neglected that for a while hasn't resulted in more deaths. Come on, Rangers. Come on, you can do it. So let's just head to the brothel. What? Everyone's first stop in Hollywood? Why, Schwags, of course. Schwags Drugstore and Lunch Net is the oldest, finest, happeningest place in town. If you want a belly full of burgers, fries, and good old apple pie, if you want an eyeful of the world's most beautiful girls and boys, then turn your feet towards Schwags. Everybody who's anybody eats at Schwags. And some of the top performers at Manny's Chinese Casino and Heidi's Hollywood Hideaway were discovered there. Who knows? Maybe you will be too. Schwags, it's great. <laughs> no thanks, I'm good. I have no dreams of becoming a rock star. This looks like a ghost town. Leather tactical vest. Ooh, that might be something Yulia should wear, actually. It might actually already be what she has on. Black flak vest. Hmm. Let's see. I actually like the way this looks better. This looks more... punk. I think this one's electronic. Mm-hmm. Ew. I'm not picking up four pounds of human flesh and a foot. Whoop, oh, I, okay, apparently I am. Get out of there. Gross. Welp, I think there's the prostitutes. How are we going to get them out of there? We just gotta wait. Somebody will come. But what if they don't? <coughs> I'm right here. Oh shit, no! More guys with guns. No, don't worry. Take it easy, Zoe. I think these are the guys we called. Hi, um... Are you the Desert Rangers? Your radio guy said you were coming. I hope you're not too late. Late for what? What happened? Those God's Militia assholes took, o took over our place, and they're killing anybody who goes through the front door. They say that anybody who goes into a whorehouse is automatically a sinner, so they have every right to kill them. They've already killed some of our best customers. And they're using the girls, too. Fucking hypocrite bastards. And not just that. They said they were going to take all the girls to their headquarters and make them penitents to show them the error of their ways. It's bullshit. Penitent's just a fancy word for slave, as far as I can tell. Well, I think we're going to have to kill some people. And I will do this job gladly. What do you know about the militia? God's militia and salvation church. Aren't those the people that I killed? Uh, I killed the one dude? When he executed the boy? Was that the God's militia? A bunch of religious nuts from Griffith Park. They hate sin in all its forms. Doesn't stop them from indulging in it, though. Of course not. What do you know about their headquarters? The priests have a clubhouse up in Griffith Park. They call it the Bastion of Faith. I call it Bad News. Alright, how do I get in? Front door is the only way in, and they will be waiting to ambush you. There was a sewer entrance, but that psycho nun threw a grenade in and collapsed the entrance. 
Okay. I won't let them become slaves, don't worry. Oh, hold on. Skill point! Two snakes intertwined in a sweet embrace. A beautiful blue rose has been slipped into their grasp. Aww. Snake spooning. Anyone with six points? Three, four, four, nope. Wow, there really is only the front door, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Here we go. Oh, God. <laughs> Nun sprayer. Nun gunslinger. This bordello has seen its fair share of blood and bullets. Looks like they killed a customer. Yep. None lobber, none commando. I don't see an option to talk to them, and they're red, so I guess we should just start shooting. I suppose. Let's get our snipers back here. And, uh, you know what? Maybe we should just let them come around the corner. Yeah, let's not expose ourselves to all of them. Let's just expose ourselves to these two. Sounds good to me. Put Yulia in the front, of course, because she's probably going to be able to blast him with her shotgun. And they have seven armor, so I suppose I could use my energy weapons, actually. Yeah, should be good to kind of huddle, although they do have throwers, and we are a little bit clustered, but this place is so, so small, there's, yeah, we can't help but really be clustered to some degree. Alright, we got the right guns on, yep, let's just, uh, let's just select everybody, see if we can kill one, and here we go. Awesome. Well, Provost is going to go get himself killed. <laughs> they still sound like zombies. Now is definitely a time to burst, because these guys have... They do pretty good damage, they have really good armor, and they have a lot of health. Pretty much as much as we do. Actually, they kind of have more than we do. They kind of have, they kind of have a lot more. So, yeah. Um, maybe I should use my energy weapon here. It's like the better one sing uh, yeah, I could do a burst of three with a low chance to hit, or this thing has armor of six. Uh, armor threshold of six, they have armor of seven. Yeah, actually, I'm just going to energy weapon them. Pretty good. Should I plink you off? Who's going next? Um, doesn't really matter, I guess. You know what? This nun gunslinger is probably gonna die by AOE before before anything else happens. Maybe. I mean, the only AOE I have is, I guess, Yulia's shotgun. So maybe she won't. Nah, let's pick her off. Just stay there. And the Provost is dead. So sad. I loved that man. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll 
show up again later, I guess. It seems to be a thing that he does. Did someone just hit a gong? What the hell was that? Anyway... Ooh, nice. Hit the guy in the back a little bit, too. Nice headshot. Yep. Nice burst. Ooh, 54%. That's terrible. Well, it is Theodore. You know, I should actually put on his thing. The uh, plus one to leadership. Yeah. No, oh, I can't do that. Okay. Fair enough. I really need a shock, shock on these bastards. I can do so much damage with a triple burst. Oh, it's going to be glorious. I can't wait for Yulia's turn. This guy's probably going to die to the AoE of Yulia's turn. So let's soften up the other ones and hope we can get them down. So let's go for the one with the most health. Eh, I don't think that softened him up enough. <sighs> Wonderful, I got a nice headshot on Yulia. That's great. You're such a good shot. Alright, this is gonna hurt them. Unfortunately, I can't quite reach that bastard in the back, but that's fine. <laughs> Beautiful. We actually could punch this guy to death. Let's go do that. And you die. Oh my god. Just... Go be a target. <laughs> oh my god a triple blast of a shotgun none of them hit from 10 feet away wow wow that is new levels of bad all right um i'm thinking you die and you might die? You're probably not going to die. Let's try. Actually, you don't have your turn yet. Let's go for this guy. I can't wait for Yulia's turn again. Look at them, they're all lined up. Except for this one. The Nun Commando is definitely not lined up. Um, let's go here so we get the plus 10% to hit bonus. It's not actually in cover relative to them, but still, we get the bonus nonetheless. That guy's gonna die to the shotgun blast, no problem. Let's see if we can soften the lobber up. Yes. I'm prepping him for some nice shotgun blasts, so these two are definitely gonna die to the shotgun. Actually, am I gonna be able to shoot him with the shotgun? I don't think I'm gonna be able to do the triple blast because she's... She's taking a knee? And if I get up, I don't think I can move and do the triple blast. Hmm. Yeah, I can't. Shit, I should have done a headshot. Oh my god. Yulia, I'm so sorry. They're terrible. They're just... They're terrible. Can I heal you? Cost 4 AP. God damn it. Well... I could do a single shot. Still totally worth it. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, it's down to Lex Canium and Theodore to kill this guy before he gets another turn. Come on. Come on. 77% chance. Oh. One hit point. One hit point. I swear this game trolls me. Seventy-nine percent. Okay. I actually don't have that many med kits. Is it worth doing the anti-bleeding thing? Uh, I don't think I even have a suture kit anyway. These dudes are going to drop a lot of ammo. And a lot of weapons. That's going to be pretty sweet. Out of ammo? Eh, whatever. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Copy, Ring. Congratulations. Seven points. I'm tired, really tired of not passing speech checks, so I'm just gonna go with smartass. Okay. Incense. Lovely. T two pounds of incense? What the hell? Why do you have two pounds of incense? Hmm. Ump. Could be better than what Pazepi has. Timp? Not better. Scripture notes. Spaz? Nice. <laughs> Priest's battle vest. Should be fun to wear. Wait, this priest gunslinger has a nudie magazine on him? Hypocrite. Owl of Minerva, that's from the Provost, so now I have a second Owl of Minerva, because he appeared and died twice. Cat of Nine Tails. Or self-flagellation, I suppose. Okay, let's check this thing out. Ump. It is worth more money, so it's probably better. Um, oh, it does a lot less damage. 13 to 17 instead of 17 to 31. Jeez. The range is slightly larger. Capacity is about the same. Penetration's better. It's, it's less AP. But... That's terrible. I don't know why it's worth more money. It's really bad. And it uses 45 caliber ammo. No thanks. Scripture notes. Crumpled page of musings and notes from a god's militia member. Yeah. Man of God. No thanks. I'll go with the bondage vest. Those look practically the same. This probably does fit... Theodore really well, though. Wish I had some pants for him, though. I probably do. Do I have pants for him? Maybe I don't. I don't have any pants for him, do I? All shirts, no pants. <laughs> the pole is sticky. Okay, um... <laughs> They're all in exactly the same pose. <laughs> you know, you think they would not be in that pose when they just heard people screaming and, like, blowing up and getting shot outside? Was that it? Like, that's all of them? 
Oh, what the hell happened here? What kind of person can kill another person while they're having sex? Yeah. Hello? Okay. I guess that's it. You can tell there's some very deep storytelling going on here. Thanks so much for saving her sisters. Uh, yeah, no problem. Your sisters are safe? Well, except for the one they killed, apparently. It's horrible that Madame Hart and many of our loyal customers were murdered. But you stopped it from being much, much worse. If you're ever looking for friendly female companionship, then don't hesitate to visit every service we offer will be on the house. Yeah, um... No thanks. Like, you just lost a lot of your customers, and at least one of your people got murdered after I, I guess being raped I, she must have been I, no no thanks I'm gonna go don't really feel in the mood and I don't think you do either at least you shouldn't That's fascinating. Don't think I want my brain to rot anymore listening to that garbage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fifty-five XP. That's actually a substantial amount of XP. Let me see how much the bar goes up. Because I was thinking I wouldn't want to disarm every single one, but that is actually... Sig <clears throat> that is actually significant XP. That only did six damage to her. That's like nothing. Okay, well, there's probably like... There's probably like 50 mines to disarm here, so I'm going to be right back when I'm done. Okay, well, I diffused literally over a dozen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, there's more than a dozen. There's a lot there. And I got her up to about 75% of her level. So, that was definitely worth it. And I believe they're nearby, because I just saw a little speech bubble from Tori. Yeah, there we go. Bein Veneto wait Bein Veneto a Nick Bandito did what I don't know what that says but get the fuck out is what it says at the end but that part I understand hi excuse me I just need to go jack some stuff ooh 12% hmm Twenty-eight percent, and that's—I think she has a thing on, doesn't she? Oh no, she has that on. So let's, yeah, let's put the eye of providence on. That should make it a little bit better. Sixty-three—that's worth it. I'm not even going to try to open. Hey, what's going on? 
Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. More stuff. 62%, sure. Luchador belt. Minus two speed plus two strength. Don't think that's worth it. Oh my god. She's got a rocket launcher. Hello, Tori. You know, I can't help but notice that the woman behind you, this Robinson Sniper, looks literally exactly the same. Except that she has a skirt instead of pants on, but other than that, she literally has the same face. She's literally your clone. Does that bother you? It bothers me. So what? You're gonna kill me? You're still doing what that asshole cannibal tells you to do? Don't you realize you're gonna be the next one on the plate? Listen. You gotta seize the initiative and take that bastard out before he has before before he has you for dinner. I'm serious. Forget about me and go back there now. Now, go. I don't know if I even want to get involved, really. I kind of want to kill them both, but <sighs> I don't know. When you remove a large force in the waste. What fills that power vacuum? You know, you create an empty space, but then what fills it? Could be something just as bad. I don't know. If we forget you, are you gonna come back? What? No, fuck no. I'm done with those losers. They had no vision, and no fucking loyalty. Did you see how they turned on me there at the end? Fuck them. They don't deserve my wisdom. I'm getting out of this bullshit town and finding some place where people have some brains and balls. So, are we cool? Can I go? Eh, sure, whatever. I don't need your permission, I do what I want. We're leaving, but not on your schedule. I've still got some packing to do. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think I want to get involved. No thanks. Well, seems I missed one. I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, well now the next thing I want to do is go back to Rhodia and deliver them the tele <laughs> telescope. Deliver them the microscope. I don't think a telescope would be very useful for finding germs and microorganisms. You could try, but I don't think it'd be able to focus. So I need to go deliver that to Rhodia, which is right there. Hopefully help them cure the plague, and of course I still need to drive those bastards out of town and install my repeater unit on their radio tower, so... There's a lot that I need to do there. But I think I should end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.